Hey there, this is Brandon, and this will be my first uh, chart review for the new year, uh, Monday, January 4th, 2016. Um, I This is the 5500 volume chart, and uh, I was kind of switching back and forth, um, but mostly I was trading the 1000 tick chart. Um, because there was such a huge move overnight and uh, we had some really big bars in this area uh, so I was actually using the 1000 tick chart um, pretty pretty uh, pretty huge bummer uh, with my trading today I actually started with a couple of scalps so I was up about 90 some odd dollars um, and then I had a I think a couple of losses and I was down like 11 bucks <clears throat> I had one loss and I was down 11 bucks and then um, I had some small wins small losses and managed to uh, get myself back to a point where I was up about a hundred and nine dollars and of course I really wish I had just called it a day at that point um, <clears throat> but it's the new year I wanted to uh, you know kind of get a good good profit today um, I thought I could probably get one more scalp and end the day with about hundred and fifty uh, but instead I took a loss and another loss and um, at one point I was down two hundred and eight dollars and some odd cents and I didn't didn't make the calculations I just figured okay I, I can't take an eight tick loss uh, but I can take a seven tick loss and and that'll be okay you know if I lose I'll still be under the 300 well I went ahead and took a trade and took a seven tick loss and my my loss on the day ended up being three hundred dollars and six cents um, so I I uh, killed my combine today um, on the uh, 30-day anniversary date of it as well it started on December 4th and uh, so top step trader just charged me for my second month today and uh, <clears throat> and I've uh, blown it so <clears throat> I ended up starting over um, for pretend I, I, I'm uh, I'm I've had enough of giving money to top step trader um, I think it's a decent program um, and I definitely learned some things going through the combine um, process but at, at this point it's just I'm just wasting my money um, I can I can trade simulator for free and so what I decided I'll do is I'll start a, a brand new combine just on the simulator and I'll treat it exactly as I would the uh, the top step trader combine um, w without <laughs> paying the ninety five dollar combine fee. Um, so that'll just it'll be for free, and it'll um, it'll be somewhat similar. I guess it probably won't have as much pressure, but uh, um, you know I need to I need to pass the combine for pretend before I can try to pass a combine for real um, and I might even just never do top step trader again I think my plan at this point um, I still need to think about it a little bit more but I'm pretty sure I'm just going to do the pretend combine and see if I can hit the one thousand dollar profit goal um, and then from there I'll do a pretend funded trader prep which is just another it's similar just another combine except for the profit target is only five hundred dollars um, and if I can pass that then I will go ahead and, and try take a stab at, at real live trading again just fund a small account so that's what I'm gonna do um, most likely um, coming up on some vacation uh, in fact I'm on vacation starting today and uh, <clears throat> but my girlfriend and I are actually going to do some traveling here in a few days and um, so I'll have plenty of time to kind of mull things over and and think about exactly what I want to do but for today after I uh, jacked up my combine 
Um, I started fresh on simulator. Um, I took three wins and a single loss. Uh, ended up with a profit of 122.78. You can see there was the had a rough couple of days there, and then today I, I just barely went over the $300 max loss limit. I just didn't take the time to do the calculations, and uh, yeah, so starting again, zero money out of pocket, just purely on simulator. Um, so even uh, even less at risk. You can't risk less than zero um, dollars. So with the top step, at least you know I was spending ninety-five dollars a month. Now I'm not even spending that. I'm just gonna just gonna continue to trade on the simulator and see how I can do. Um, with that, let me uh, take a look at the session today. Pretty pretty amazing um, price action here. Huge spike down, um, and then found ourselves into a channel. Uh, it, it, I'm not sure if this is correct. You know these these highs and the touch right here line up pretty well, and you get a pretty good reaction off of that um, confirmation trend line confirmation right there. Uh, but then fairly shortly after that, you get a break, um, and it makes two nice big legs to a new low, um, and then it reversed. And this was a really good correction, pretty steep correction. Um, <coughs> excuse me, but um, uh, it it went about exactly. It started around 10 after 8 and peaked out around. 20 after 10. So it's right about that two hour mark um, where corrections tend to peter out after about an hour to two hours. Um, and so then it started heading back down. I'm not sure what's going on now, um, but uh, we'll just take a look. So I'm going to start with the thousand tick chart because that was where I was taking my trades earlier on. Um, I, I got started a little bit before six, so kind of right in this area, um, and I marked this as a long. It, it kind of looked range bound in here, um, and so you had a bounce here, you had a little failed break, uh, and then another little bounce here. So I marked this as a long. That's probably uh, pretty aggressive considering this is this has been trending down all day long. I think I'm actually going to delete that. <clears throat> but at the new low here, it came down, made a first entry short, pull back, second entry short. I thought that was a pretty good setup. I, I waited for it to tick down and used a limit order to get short and got a pretty quick little scalp. Makes a double top there, so um, you would have been, I mean, you would have been able to get out with four ticks regardless of uh, how you entered here. Um, but... Uh, you know, prices never never break higher than that high right there, your signal bar. So that ends up being a safe trade, good scalp. Um, and then counting this double top, excuse me, counting this new high here, pull back first entry. Oops. First entry long, little pullback, second entry long. Um, it goes one tick higher than those previous highs and then fails. So I like that for a failed second entry long um, and it's pretty much right off this trend line although this touches a little bit better um, I didn't really see a good entry on this this price action here uh, and then of course we get the break of this trend line which is not surprising considering it it, it keeps going less and less deep into this channel um, off the lows here you know, we're not even making it to the midline right here if I had one drawn. Um, but I like this this uh, little trap right here. Um, you have your new low, first entry short, pullback. Here's a second entry short, but there's too much overlap. And so you get this little fake out move higher. Um, but this is the first break of this trend line. And uh, and so you're not really looking to go long quite yet. And so I liked how this bar ticked one higher and then closed all the way on its low. I think that's a good opportunity to get short. It's sort of a breakout pullback. 
sort of a breakout pullback from this level here. Um, notice it's 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 somewhere in this area. You're you're getting some support, and then it breaks out below there, comes back and gives you you know one more test in this area. Um, so I like that for a short. And of course, it comes down here, and here's a here's a really nice breakout pullback entry. Notice all these matching lows. Um, and it can't break lower, and then, it, and then it finally breaks lower with some authority here. Comes back up to the tick and gives you that nice bearish bar right there. So that looks like a nice breakout pullback type entry uh, for me. Um, yeah, I only had one trade at this point. So then we get the break and moves to a new low, and this looks like a, a pretty strong reversal pattern here. Notice the low. First entry short, pull back, second entry short. But it's really bullish in here. Um, and notice how the, it, it goes through the EMA and then the EMA starts acting as support. So I like this. This is a, a failed second entry short. I like that for a long, and obviously that was a really good trade. Um, a lot of traders got trapped right there and it took it higher. Um, I didn't. I took this trade, although I didn't mark it. Um, notice the new high, and there is a trend line working up right here. It's a two-tier channel. You can see that, um, and you get the first break of that. So I was expecting prices to come and retest these highs, um, but it turns out I don't. You know, it, it turns out to be a failed second entry long, uh, which is why I ended up marking this for a short. Uh, because here's your high, first entry long, pull back, second entry long. Um, this this is obviously not a good signal bar. You don't want to go long above that. Um, but this is a nice bullish bar here. And considering it dropped one lower and then broke out the, the high there, um, I like that. And so I, based on that bullish price action and the second entry long, um, and the kind of little fail break below the EMA there. I just used the limit order to go long. Um, I only took four ticks, but you know if I had if I had been less conservative with my entry, I would have I would have went long at 98 even, and it would have been a three tick failure. Um, so in the end, I like first entry pullback, second entry long. It fails right here, and then boom, it's another really nice trap. Just as soon as it ticks down. One lower there, just go short and look how that just takes off. <coughs> um, I was looking for a uh, second entry, and I, I was away from my screen for this. Uh, it comes down and makes a, a brand new low on the day, and there's a first entry short, pullback, second entry short. It's a nice bearish bar, um, so I like that for a second entry short, and that turns out to be kind of one of the last opportunities to go short for quite a long time. So, um, yeah, so I like that little second entry short right there. It tries to, you do have a trend line working down there. You get your first break, so it pushes down to a new low, just barely, single tick, uh, and then it reverses. You get another reversal pattern here. Uh, so it's headed higher. I don't like the failed second entry uh, short right here. Um, it's just it's too close to that high, and this this was a pretty good move down. Um, and so I didn't I don't know I just didn't trust that right there. Uh, and this is where yeah this is where the wheels came off right here. Um, the, the price action was extremely quick in here. Um, so notice it comes up and makes a new high. There's a first entry short, pullback, second entry short. I thought that was a nice, you know, it's a lower high. It's kind of a head and shoulders pattern here, and it's a nice bearish bar. Um, and so when that ticked lower, uh, it just blasted down really quickly. And I, I, I didn't have a stop order, obviously. Uh, so I came back here with a limit order to sell, um, just kind of hoping it would come back. And you got to be careful what you wish for, obviously. Um, if if I'd used a stop to get short right under this bar, uh, it would have worked 
perfectly, you know, 92 even, and there's 91 right there. Um, so there's a four tick scalp. As it happened, this, this happened super quickly. And, uh, and then I put my limit order here, not expecting it to come back and, and fill me. Um, and it suddenly came back and filled me. And before I knew it, prices were right up here. I mean, I think this was less than a, a, a minute um, where I got stopped out right there. <clears throat> so at that point, I was down like 11 bucks on the day. Um, this was just a dumb trade. I just bought blindly here and realized the error of my ways and took a two tick profit. Um, you know, so I was up a few bucks at that point. And, um, and let's see. So I, I end up liking this for a long, um, it's a little convoluted, but notice that it's making higher highs in here. And if you drag that parallel line down off the low here and anchor it off the low, it, uh, this close is right there on the line. So that's kind of perfect. And it, it kind of ends up being a first entry, second entry short that fails. Um, and it's another good trap. So I marked both of these trades. I marked that short. Uh, of course, you had to use a stop order to enter right below that bar and get your four tick scalp. And then it kind of fails. It goes more than four ticks, but then it kind of fails uh, off of this trend line working up and gives you a good opportunity to go long. I didn't want to take the second, the failed second entry short right here because it was too close to this upper trend line. Uh, then I did again that dumb trade there, uh, and prices started working down. wasn't quite sure how to draw this channel. Uh, in the end, I had it like so, um, <clears throat> and I I got a little whipsawed in here. Notice that. You have a new low. Okay, so you got a reversal pattern. Prices are headed back down. And first entry long from the low, pull back, second entry long, and it fails right here. It's also from the low, first entry short, pull back, second entry short. This is a nice bearish bar right here. Um, so I was a little bit conservative. I waited for prices to tick lower, and then I used a limit order to go short. Uh, and it came back up here and stopped me out. I had my, my stop one tick above that. Um, and then I like this as a little failed breakout. Um, and I ended up going short again right there and took a four tick profit. Um, so I marked this as a short. It's, uh, it's, I don't know, I guess I think of it as a little failed breakout. You have a little trading range in here. In fact, I can just copy this. Drag it up here. And so you notice those four matching highs in there and it breaks higher. A uh, little tiny bearish bar there and, and breaks down. Um, just peaks its head above the EMA for a minute there and, and then continues downward after this reversal pattern. So I like that for a short. Um, and then you have a little breakout pullback. Notice the matching lows. It breaks out, pulls back. It gives you that nice little bullish or bearish bar. Um, I actually went short there and then chickened out. And only took a single tick. <clears throat> uh, and I think at that point, I no, I was still trading the one thousand tick. Um, and notice we have one more breakout pullback here. You can see these three matching lows in this area and then some more there. And it breaks out, breaks lower, comes back and tests that level to the tick. You see a nice little bear, bearish bar there. So I like that as a breakout, another short breakout pullback there. Then it reverses um, and you get a little channel working up, break, a couple legs to a new high. Um, and you get another little failed breakout. It's similar to this pattern right here. Notice the matching closes and the highs here. Uh, and then over here again, the little fail break, little bearish bar. And so I like that for a short. Obviously, that turned out to be a great trade. Um, then you make a new low, first entry short, pull back second entry short. I missed that one, unfortunately. Um, and I believe this was like the low of the 
So right here in the low of the, low of the day, uh, you get kind of a little two-legged pullback to the EMA. And once again, I kind of chickened out on this trade. I like this really nice bearish bar. Um, so I waited for prices to tick lower and used a limb in order to get short. And I chickened out again and took only a single tick. Uh, so that was frustrating. Um, obviously, it could have taken my four tick scalp. Uh, and it gets kind of range bound in here, and you make this matching high here, first entry short, pull back, second entry short. It's not a great signal bar, um, so I was a little early on my entry. I think uh, it would have been better to wait for this little failure here, um, which, or maybe just to use the limit order. It's kind of, there's a lot of overlap there, so maybe I shouldn't even mark that. But um, between this second entry short from the high and this failed second entry long from the high, um, I think that's one, at least one of those is good for a scalp. Um, I only took two ticks. Uh, could have taken four or five, but once again, I chickened out. Uh, boy, and then this is where I just got, no, actually, I did pretty well in here. <laughs> uh, so we had this kind of reversal pattern heading higher and some matching highs up here um, and notice the low here I take it back let's see what happened here it uh, you got a low here first entry long pull back there's a second entry long notice it only manages a single tick matching highs there and then it fails so it's a failed second entry long i entered this a little bit conservatively uh, i waited for prices to tick lower and then i used a limit in order to go short and got my scalp um, but you get another opportunity to take a trade almost immediately after that you have a high first entry long pullback second entry long nice bearish bar and it fails and goes lower there so that's a good scalp um, and I counted this double top as a, you know, new high, first entry long, pullback, second entry long. Because it's a double top, you can do the same thing from here. New high, first entry long, pullback, second entry long. Um, and it fails. Uh, again, I was a little more conservative there, although it would have worked if I had been, if I had just entered with a sell stop. Um, but again, I took a four tick scalp there. Now, at that point... I believe I was up a hundred uh, and nine bucks or something like that uh, and this is where I started to get really chopped up um, it's just it's just really rangy in here there's lots of overlap lots of stems so you know the lesson learned here is um, you know just don't even don't even try to mess with this kind of price action um, I should have waited until things were a little bit better defined. In fact, there's a nice failed second entry long right here. But as it turned out, first entry short, pull back second entry short. I went short right there. Um, it went a couple ticks my way and then started going against me. And I sort of panicked like a failed second entry uh, short. And maybe it was going to go higher. Uh, so I closed my short. Um, and then I shorted it again and closed my short again and I reversed and went long uh, and <laughs> thought this was really bearish so I closed my long for a loss and went short didn't take my four tick profit here um, I actually instead let it come back and give me a two tick loss uh, then I was pissed and shorted it again and took another loss and then I got short again and took another loss so just totally wheels came off uh, just completely jacked it up in here so at that point I switched to simulator And 
this was this is where I got all chopped up I ended up marking those on the 5500 I marked those uh, as longs um, notice the new high first entry long pullback second entry long it's a nice bullish bar it's right off this trend line uh, which you can have based on the these highs here uh, and those two lows right there perfect bounce off the trend line second entry long uh, just a classic setup right there um, and then this is just a trap this was probably the nastiest trap I've ever seen um, and this is where I, I was long and then I reversed and went short was after this bar. Look how bearish that bar is. I mean, it goes a single tick higher than the previous high and then completely rever re reverses and it's so bearish. And this is where I went short and I, I was expecting a big move down to, you know, at least retest the lows. Um, so I was holding out for a big trade. Unfortunately, didn't take my four tick scalp. Um, and then, yeah, then I got more chopped up in there. But uh, this is just this is just a heinous trap. Um, so I like that for a long. If if the bulls can push it higher after that bearish bar, um, then you know prices are going to go higher. Well, I didn't know in the moment, but uh, they sure did, didn't they? Um, anyways, yeah, you can tell all these matching lows as well. And this is, there's a double bottom right there, and this is the third test of that as well. Um, so I, I really should have just taken my four ticks and waited for another setup. Um, unfortunately, I was greedy and trying to get a big trade after, uh, after getting so chopped up. Um, and then this is kind of like, there's some matching highs in here, and there's a little breakout pullback and this is a huge bullish bar um, so you know hopefully you just you just get long with uh, a break above this this bar here it's another trap I mean bearish bar it fails bearish bar it fails so both of those are good opportunities opportunities to go long um, and notice there's a channel working up break and a couple legs to a new high and then it reverses um, I thought this was a pretty decent reversal pattern um, so in my simulator account I took a short right here it's a uh, it's I don't know it's kinda like that really um, it's just it's just a, a bull trap it goes a couple ticks higher and reverses and closes near its low um, so I went short right there. It's like a second entry short from this high. First entry pullback, second entry short. Makes a double top there, a lower high than the previous high. Um, and this had cut through the EMA pretty nicely. So I thought we were headed lower. Um, turns out I was a little bit early on that. And I took a minus 9, I believe. Minus 9 or minus 10. Yeah, minus 10. Uh, notice I had my stop a, a single tick above there. This was a horrible stop out. It went one more tick and then just went right where I thought it was going to go. Um, <clears throat> and actually, I stepped away from my screen and missed, unfortunately, this really great trade here. Um, notice that trap, that really bullish bar here. And it's like a uh, from this low, first entry long, pullback, second entry long. Um, it's just a trap. I mean, there's no there's no other way to describe it. It ticks one higher and then drops out the bottom. Um, so I like going short right there. It's like it's like the the inverse of, of what happened down here. Notice the double top, and you get a little fail break higher, and you get one more test of that same price level there, 95, 75, uh, and it just rejects. Um, it heads lower. So. When I missed that trade, I, I kind of uh, snuck in on this. I figured we'd have kind of a breakout pullback, which we did end up having a breakout pullback type of a setup here. And I didn't even mark that trade. Uh, it's also a failed second entry long. Notice the high first entry long pullback, second entry long, and it fails. Uh, so using a stop to enter there, you're getting short at 90 and a half and so I took my profit at 89 and a half even though I had snuck in 
which is uh, which is a no no. Um, I was pretty pissed off about <laughs> this stop out here, um, and so I allowed myself to fade this little second entry long um, breakout pullback type of setup here, and took a 12 tick. So I was up a couple of ticks at that point. Uh, and then we have a new low, first entry short, pullback, second entry short right here. It's not a great, um, I mean, there's definitely some overlap there. Uh, obviously, I would have liked it better if, if it had ticked higher and then closed down here. Um, but it's just another test of that, um, that 95 and 3 quarters level. And so I think once it fails right there, you just go short right there, and, and you can tell a lot of traders were caught on the wrong side uh, right there and had to exit pretty quickly. Um, the next trade I marked, looks like we rallied into the close a little bit. The new low here, first entry short, pullback, second entry short, nice bearish bar right off the trend line, right off the EMA. It went short there and had to sweat like seven ticks. Um, but then it finally came down and it gave me kind of a second opportunity here. Notice this is all a first entry long and it pulls back and makes a second entry long. And then that fails right here is your trigger price, uh, 89 and a quarter. Um, so I took my profit at 88 and a quarter. Uh, so that was a five tick trade for me. <clears throat> uh, and then we have, I liked this. A uh, little two-legged pullback to the EMA and trend line. Um, in a sense, it's kind of a breakout pullback. There's some matching lows in this area. And it breaks out and comes back up here and tests that EMA and gives you a nice little bearish bar. Uh, and again, right off the EMA, right off the trend line. Um, so I like that for a short. This channel, of course, is a little strange. Um, there was an early break. Um, and then another break here, and then it made a one leg to a new low, little correction, two-legged kind of correction, and another couple legs to another new low. So it was a little bit odd. Um, and I took one more trade in here. First leg, pullback, second leg to the EMA, and I kind of like that little triple top there. Um, so... The, the entry is below this bar. It's like a, it's kind of a second entry. Well, actually, it's kind of a failed second entry long. First entry, pullback, second entry long, and it fails right there at 86 even. Um, but it was kind of bouncing around in here. It couldn't kind of make up its mind. So um, I actually went short at 86 and a quarter, and I had to sweat a few ticks, but it did finally work worked down and gave me one more four tick scalp. So I marked that kind of failed second entry long trade. Um, and that was already after 12 o'clock, so I didn't mark anything after that. And wow, we got a really strong rally into the close, obviously. I don't think it matters too much. If, uh, if, if you've watched some of my earlier videos, um, you know I've been short the S&Ps and the Russell for quite a while. Um, I actually went short again. What was that? That was off the... <clears throat> I, I think I went short one more time kind of in this area, just another uh, another set of shares. Uh, I'm trading the SPXS, which is a triple leverage uh, bearish ETF. Um, so I shorted another chunk of shares right at this level um, and had to sweat this out, but uh, it ended up working out. And I was really glad to see it make a new low and take out this previous area of demand. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove that um, now that we've made a new low and there's a little bit of a bounce of course um, but I mean S&Ps are still down 31 points today so I think that's a good good start and uh, I I did take some profits today on part of that position that the shares that I had uh, 
bought in here. Um, I took profits at uh, at eighteen dollars. What was that? Well, anyway, um, so that's working out pretty well, um, and I like the pattern of lower highs and lower lows. So we'll see if we can continue to get some some selling um, next few days here. Alrighty, that's plenty of time. Um, and that is it for me. I didn't talk about these trades because I was I was showing them on the 1K chart. That's all right. Um, I can just kind of really quickly cover them. This was a second entry short right here. See that. Um, this was another second entry short slash trap, and this was a failed second entry long. See that? Uh, and this was another failed second entry long. Uh, actually, that was a breakout pullback type entry. Second entry short from the high. Second entry short from the high, failed second entry long from the high, nice little second entry short from the low. Uh, you get your reversal, failed second entry short right there from the low. And then I talked about the second entry long, um, etc. Double test rule, breakout pullback. And that's it. Okay. Wow. Long video. Sorry about that. Uh, but you guys know why I'm making this these videos anyway. Um, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope everybody had a great uh, New Year's holiday. And I will chat with you guys tomorrow.